Hello you guys and welcome back to Testing Basics. This time we are going to be doing canvas trainers which I thought was a great staple for spring and into summer. Um, a really good flat shoe which should be comfortable, we will see. Um, I was inspired by doing this one because I have been wearing this old pair of Superga trainers that I have. Which I actually bought for the... I have done a... Oh, gee whiz. I have done a Testing Basics for trainers in the past. Um, probably about two years ago now if not more. And the Superga ones were in that. I'll link it in the description box. Um, and I think they won. I think they won. Um, but they were like a specific style of Superga that weren't part of their core collection. And I've been wearing them relentlessly recently. And I've been getting so many questions about them. Um, on Instagram especially. So I thought I would redo Testing Basics. But this time make it specific to Canvas trainers. Which are more of my style at the moment. I don't think this camera's straight. Um... Yeah, which is definitely more of where my personal style is at at the moment anyway. Um, so I thought, yeah, I thought I would do this one and it would be helpful. So there isn't a huge price range in this one, just because I wanted to go for brands that are specifically trainer brands, as opposed to getting like a pair of Gucci canvas trainers and spend more just because they're Gucci. And the reason behind that is because I feel like there's lots of quite iconic brands that do canvas trainers at a similar price point that are all competitors to one another so it'd be interesting to compare them all closely but also that you guys most of you guys will own or will have once owned or once worn or once tried on at least one of these styles of trainers so i thought it'd be quite good where you can benchmark what i'm saying based on your own experience of any of these shoes if that makes sense um so yeah let's get straight into it like I said, we've got five pairs. We'll start with the most affordable pair, uh, which is these Novesta ones. These are £49. Um, I'm also going to... So every type of... Oh, sometimes the sound of children is ever so creepy. Um, there's some child playing outside. Oh, uh, oh, um, all of these shoes and brand of shoes are brands that I have also worn in the past and have shoes that I've had for many years as well from them. So initially we're gonna review each of the shoes individually, um, but then at the end, I'm gonna talk about the brands more generally and my long-term experience with some of the brands. Um, so these are Novesta, which are a relatively new brand in my life. I've only been wearing Novesta trainers this year, so for the past six months. Uh, these were 49 pounds. They're kind of hard to find online. Um, if you are a shoe size seven or smaller, they do men's of them everywhere. But for women's, they have them on Pam Pam London and they have them on Toast. And they were the main two places I ended up finding them. Um, now, they are a canvas trainer available in lots of different colours. And they have these huge gum soles, this gum rubber sole, which goes over onto the toe like this. So I also have them in black which are the ones I've had for longer, where this is all white. So they can be quite a statement too. Um, I went for the all creamy coloured ones and then they've got quite big silver eyelets, yellow all in the inside. I've already had a review from somebody just saying that you cannot put these in the washing machine because they everything goes yellow because this runs. I'm not washing any of these trainers, but that let that be a warning that somebody has already had a bad experience with this and shared it with me. Um, for the size of these, I mean, it says 26 and a half there, which means absolutely nothing to me. Um, I'm pretty sure, yeah, I got these in a 40. Does that say 40? Yeah, a 40, which is my normal size. My normal size is a UK 7, European 40. God knows what 26 and a half is, but it says 26 and a half and a man hiking up a, up a hill. I wouldn't want to hike in these. But anyway, yeah, so these run true to size. I'd say they're a relatively wide fitting shoe if you had wide feet you'd get on fine with them. I've got really thin feet so as you can see throughout this that on all of them the laces are like as tight as they can possibly be. Uh, but yeah that, these are the cheapest ones. Novesta £49. I ordered mine off Pam Pam London um, in a size 40. That's them. Next up from there we've got two at the £50 mark. Let's start with the Converse. I went for the classic low top ones. For all of these trainers I've gone for low top trainers. Um, God, I think I probably got my first pair of Converse when I was like 11 or something. So I'm a veteran in Converse, like many of you will be. I also have these in a UK 7, European 40. Um, I think they, I feel like they fit slightly longer than the Novesta ones. Um, so, uh, then they do. Oh, that was so pleasing. Yeah, they fit slightly longer. 
Maybe I could have gone a half a size down. But without spoiling them, when wearing them, they haven't felt too big. But then obviously because they're laced up, you can secure them. But you could go half a size down in Converse, it seems. That's kind of a big size seven. Uh, yeah, these are the really, really classic old star, the black ones with the white laces. Um, I don't feel like they need much more of an introduction like that. They're a very iconic shoe. And for good reason, I think they're incredibly stylish. And now we have the Superga. I got these in a size 40 again. Oh, what are these called? Kato? Okay. I'm gonna write I'm gonna write the name of the trainers down in the description box. Um because these have got a name. Anyway, um these are like the most classic ones. Superga is a brand that I love, but they do everything seems to have a big platform. I was really hard pressed finding ones that didn't have a big bloody platform. But these ones are lovely. Let's do that little size compare test actually. Um I don't want to give away how I found the size of them, but I'm expecting these to run quite a bit smaller so much smaller than the converse look at that oh my gosh and then let's try them with the nevesta tiny bit smaller than the nevesta too teeny 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 tiny bit which does make a difference in these things they were also 50 pounds the super good then we're taking a two pound jump oh up to some vans um, this is the first time I've actually had this style of bands. The bands that I have already are the slip-on ones and the old school ones, bands old school. These are, yeah, I again, we'll write the name in the description box of what they're actually called. I also got these in a UK 7. Bands say that is a European 40 and a half, just to confuse everybody, even though every other brand says it is a European 40. But yeah, it's a UK 7. Again, the white canvas, um, just the little Vans logo here. These a super minimal just all white eyelets and things like that uh quite a wide fit similar in width and fit to the nevesta if you're white if you've got a wide foot these two i recommend more than the converse and the superga but as the, you know they're all lace up so you can just widen them or tighten them as you need to but these have an initially more of a wide fit let's do our little size check identical to the nevesta which means obviously they're going to be smaller than the converse yeah, again, gosh, almost. when I've been wearing them, I just sort of think they look kind of big on my foot, but I've got quite big feet, so I just thought, mm, I've got big feet, but that's bloody why I could have gone half a size down. So that was Vans, £52, also in a seven. Then our final one that we have is Vega. Vega or Vega, you tell me. I think I alternate throughout this video with which I'm opting for there. Uh, again, I had these in a UK seven, a European 40. They, they do lots of leather trainers. Um, why do I think they are a sustainable brand or a vegan brand? No, I think they, I think their trainers are leather. But are they a sustainable brand? I'm going to Google it and write it on the screen whether I've made that up or if that is a thing. I ordered these on their supporter and they were £80, which is a relative jump from all the other ones. Let's do our little Converse si uh, size test. Yeah, I would say that's even like, that's probably the biggest difference. Um, again, I don't want to give anything away, but let me just put them up against the Superga, which were the smallest ones so far. Heels identical. Interesting. Interesting. Anyway, uh, they are a white canvas and they have, um, again, a rubber sole that goes slightly up onto the toe, but not in the same style as the Novesta ones. The V here, which is typical of all of their shoes, uh, and it's a kind of like greyish toned thing everywhere white eyelets a small bit of branding on the tongue but not too much um and major i am um, ordered those off netta porter those specific style i don't think stocked many places the specific canvas ones but they have they are stocked in places like under the stories they're stocked in quite a lot of different places Vega. they're relatively vaguer they're relatively easy to come by um, so yeah, that is all five pairs of the shoes. I've been wearing them over 10 days in total. I've been wearing every single pair with and without socks. I am a non-sock trainer wearer, which is partly why my Superga ones are so incredibly vile. They literally could clear a room. They're, 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 they smell that bad. Because I always wear trainers without socks. Um, but I've done both so that we could fully judge the sizing because I think it's, most people would wear them with socks. And also to give them a full comfort test with... Um, both options so yes let us get into the trying on section of canvas trainers 
I can tell you something, wearing them for a week has made me dress really normcore and really, really casual, which I've been quite enjoying, but I have been influenced from the feet upwards with my style for the past 10 days. Hello guys, I've had on the Vager ones today. I've walked loads of them. Let me tell you how many steps my phone says I've done today. Um, I feel like I've been on my feet quite a while. Um, today's day, oh, one second, let me find my health up. Trying to do too much at once. So today it's saying I've done 10,609 steps. Um, they are, so I've had them on with socks today, they haven't rubbed at all. I think my recommendation is to go half a size up in them. They, they feel quite short through the toe, and you know when your toes hit the end of a shoe, A, it makes your toenails feel bruised, and now what I definitely want to do is get them off and curl my toes up the opposite direction, like, like they just feel like they only need to sort of crack and be able to move, that they've just been held in place a bit too much. So I feel like getting a size up would be a good, half a size up would be a good way around it. Width wise, they're just, I think they'd be fine on a wide foot too. Um, I feel like I've got a nice amount of space in there. It's just not lengthways. They haven't rubbed on the back, the heels, or anything like that at all. Aside from the length issues, they've been really comfortable. I really, really, really like how they look. I think they're a really nice shape on the foot. Um, yeah, they're just, the length of it is kind of making me absolutely desperate to get them on my feet right now. <laughs> Oh, I didn't say it. I've had them on with um, Everlane t-shirt, my totem jacket, redone jeans. These are the new ones that I bought with the like cool double yoke detailing. I've liked the outfit a lot. It's been nice and comfy and just casual. Hey, you guys. Had on the Converse today, sockless. And they have rubbed, this one has rubbed the top of my heel. I won't show you because it's kind of gross, but taking off the top layer of the skin, just on this foot. There's no discomfort anywhere else and I'm really hoping it's not bad enough so that all the others are gonna hurt now. Converse do kind of, like the back of them, the, <laughs> I'm gonna show you. The back of them goes up. So I'm hoping that on the other ones where it's flat, it actually won't catch me because it's on this foot. That's where it's just caught me, just there. I've been wearing them with my system jeans, belt, vintage Chanel belt from Vestia, vintage top from a shop in Soho in London, Arquette blazer, and then I have my Celine bag, just looking in my new mirror at my outfit. I very much liked the outfit, in fact I could actually film some of it in here which is quite good, but uh, yeah, this, this one has rubbed which is a shame, and I should have done the socks day first, but here we are. I went in quite confident with them because obviously I've had Converse before, and I, I didn't think that they rubbed me, but I think I've only been wearing the high top ones in recent years. So I've come up against an unexpected roadblock. So that's not great, is it? But comfy elsewhere. Hey guys, I've had on the Superga ones today, just with some weekday jeans, these are the lash jeans, and a like waffle t-shirt from Uniqlo, then my big grey Frankie shop blazer. Um, I'm just about to get on a flight, hence a very simple outfit. Uh, these they haven't rubbed at all, so the, the mark because the, the um, damage the comp. You know, Christ, let me get my sentences out. You know how I was saying about how the back of the converse go up. These don't, so it's not catching where the converse has um, made a slight cut, which I'm really pleased about. So they're perfectly comfortable on the back of my heels. Sizing wise, superbly seem confusing. So one time I was sent some of the Alexa Chum ones, which I asked for in a UK seven which is a European 40 most of the time, and they were way too big. And then the old ones I have, which are really old, are a UK 7, which then Superga changed to a 40 and a half or a 41. These are a UK 6 and a half, a European 40. So on their website, I think, I think you order from their European sizing. So I ordered a 40, and my toes are right at the end of these. Um, they're not uncomfortably so, but I think if you wore them for a, I haven't walked tons today, but if you wore them for a kind of day where you're like city break, walking around absolutely loads, I think you'd start to really um, know about it on the end of your toes, you know when your toenails feel bruised. Um, but they, they haven't been that bad just for what I can do today, but I think it would be best to go half a size up in the length, is my general consensus, because I can definitely feel my toe 
touching the end of them. Um, this is a sockless day as well, so my feet are as small as they're going to be. Uh, but aside from that, they're really comfortable. They're not rubbing anywhere whatsoever. And like I said, I have no socks on. Hey guys, mm, I'm in Amsterdam now, and I've had on the vans today. Um, I need to. There's, there's windows everywhere. There's no place in here that's going to not be backlit. Um, I've been wearing them with my um, Ray trousers. Here, at least you can see the trainers here. Ray trousers and a t-shirt from Arquette. And I just had on a Everlane jumper as well earlier. Um, these, so I've gone without socks for these today and I've been walking around for maybe, I did like 25, an hour's walk, 25 minute each way walk. Um, and the left one is starting to rub, but it is rubbing exactly where the converse scab is. Um, I'm going to show you the converse scab because it's kind of more scabby than bloody now, so it's not that gross. Here's the converse scab. So you can see like that is exactly the point where this is getting on me. And it's fine on the scabless heel, but on this one, it's just catching a little bit. So I think the real test of the comfort of these will be when I wear them with socks um, to see whether they, well they're not rubbing anywhere else, so I suppose it already is a test of comfort that it seems to be very specific to that that point, so it's the converse fault, not the van's fault. Um, I'm really liking them, style wise I don't like them as much as the other white ones that we've got. My favourite ones in terms of how they look are probably the Novesta ones for the white ones, I really like how the Vager one looks. Um, for a style of vans, I much prefer how vans old school look. They just, um, let me show you. I feel like vans old school come slightly higher up on the foot, which I personally find more flattering. And they're also just a little bit clunkier. They look really, really good always with um, like bare legs and stuff in the summer. They're just really flattering. But that's not to say that these aren't, I've got scuffed here. Um, but yeah, I, st I think that a vans old school is my preferred style for vans, but I'm st I think I'll still end up wearing these, but for the white pairs, I prefer the look of the Novesta and the Vager ones. So you have like, how many cat? Okay, Two sorry, I'm distracting ones. you, you do your thing. Um, hi guys. <laughs> Had on the Novesta ones without socks tonight, with my Ray wool trousers and a t-shirt from... Cos. Don't look, I knew that one. And my Totem jacket. Um, my feet are kind of sore from the Vega. Is it Vega or Vager? Don't know, I've been saying both throughout the video Vega. from the Vega ones today. Um, but these are relatively comfortable, but also just rubbing a tiny bit on the back of my heels without socks on, but more comfortable than the Vega ones, but not as comfortable as the Superga. That's our ranking. I think these ones look the best. Do you agree? Or you don't like the look of these? Oh, I like the Vega ones. I like the look of those. But well. you liked how the Vega ones looked more? Yeah, they're, they're great as well though. I think these are just a bit cooler for some reason. Yeah. This one's also got a bit dirty, which I like. How'd you get it dirty so quick? I think I've been stood like this. With my feet on the Is that after a day? Mm, this is the second time I've worn these. Really? Yeah. How have you done that? Just from stepping on, on them, I think. Wow. Yeah. Anyway, that's this, these ones. <laughs> <laughs> Hello guys, okay, I am here to do the final review of this now. I've just edited through the whole first part of the video, which is what I tried to do the testing basics to refresh my own memory before I do this, this end bit. Um, and I've decided to only put in one bit of each trainer as opposed to the two days of each when I'm wearing them with and without sock. But when I was watching it with both bits in, I think I'm repeating myself too much and I actually think it's confusing the review of things. Um, so I'm just going to talk about how I found them both with and without socks now. So you've seen all five pairs of trainers, some have worn with socks, some have worn without socks. I did wear them all in both, both with and without socks. And I'm going to talk about the differences of that now rather than having kept all the clips of it every single day in because, yeah, it was quite repetitive and I think quite confusing. The other thing I need to clarify is that at the beginning of the video, I talk about the Supergas doing it being a UK 40, but don't make clear, sorry, being a European 40, but don't make clear enough that that is converting to a UK six and a half in their sizing. So I'm gonna talk about sizing in this section as well, but I just wanted to make that bit clear again about there is slight sizing differences of what the brands consider to be a, a European 40. Um, anyway, um, let us get into the order of everything. In last place, I have to put the Converse, just because these are the only ones that had 
given me any sort of blister. Um, and it's been the sort of blister that even if, when I wore these with socks, I wore them with like trainer socks and I were, was did keep pulling it up to above the top of it. Um, but even through the fabric, it was just still rubbing just because I think if, some, if a shoe breaks the skin and causes a scab, unless you put a big blister plaster on it, like those big compede ones, which are brilliant, um, I think even a sock, it's still going to hurt through the sock because it's just going to continually rub on that exact same spot. Um, so yeah, these are the only ones who, that caused any any breaking of the skin, basically. Which is strange because in my head, Converse are always so comfortable. Like I've had them for so many years. Like I said, I never considered them to be uncomfortable. The high top ones, I definitely don't think take any breaking in. Interestingly, someone had left a comment on an Instagram story when I was wearing them saying how uncomfortable she found them. So maybe it's quite common. Um, that being said, they are such an iconic shoe. Like, I love them, I still recommend them, but I think maybe this out of all of the shoes is one that's really likely that lots of you guys have had or have tried, a low top Converse, and maybe you can take some understanding on whether you found them uncomfortable initially, whether they rubbed in the exact same place, in a different place, but let this be a benchmark. But for me, they've been the most uncomfortable ones. Sizing wise, I also think you can go half a size down. I Oh, the camera just completely stopped for some reason and um, as we saw at the beginning there is a difference in length and these are the ones coming up the largest size and then after i filmed the intro i tried them on again and kind of pressed around a little bit and i think you could go half a size down in them um it's not bad enough for me to have to go and repurchase them in half a size down i will still wear this size because they've got the laces on them you can still keep them done up and everything and they're not falling off my foot i don't think the fact that they come up a bit large contributes to the fact it rubbed here i really think it's just so specific to the way that your foot and ankle bends just at that point um but yes you could go half a size down uh if you are like i'm like a small size seven i would say uh, but equally, if you go for your normal size, they are going to be fine. Like, these are still fine for me. Um, so, yes, I didn't expect to put these in the last place. Style-wise, I absolutely love these. They are such a classic shoe. Um, aesthetically, I personally prefer a high-top Converse. And going forward, you'll probably see me continue to wear the high-top ones. I have more. Um, like I said at the beginning, lots of these shoes are ones that I've had for years, so I can talk about the longevity of them. I have only ever worn through a pair of Converse once before, and it was when I was in like my peak emo phases. Um, and by worn through, I just mean that it started to get a few holes and breaks through here. That was excessive amounts of wearing. Um, at my general consensus, these last a really, really long time. I've never tried washing a pair, but I believe that you can do. Um, and yeah, they're just so, they're such an iconic shoe. But aesthetically, for me and comfort wise, I do prefer the high top ones. So that was the Converse in last place, simply because they're the only ones that bloody hurt me. Okay, I'm kind of torn between which ones to put next between the Vans and the Ve Vega ones. These I wore. Did I? I showed you them with with socks in this segment so i also did a long walk in these without socks and they also hurt a little bit they didn't cause any blisters or didn't break the skin or anything but my feet were quite, quite tired at the end of the day and then i took them back off did some stuff around the house then slipped them back on to knit back out again and you know when you slip on a shoe again and you're like oh my god that's really uncomfortable um and it was certain points on the foot like the tops of my toes felt a little bit sore and a bit raw from wearing no socks with these so these are probably the second most uncomfortable ones but like i'm looking at my foot now and there's nothing on it that broke the skin like the converse ones and um, the reason i was torn about where to put them is because aesthetically i really like them they're my second favorite white trainer we have here and i prefer how they look over these vans they are a sustainable brand i had a quick look online afterwards um and found a really interesting article about them which i will leave linked um in the description box below but they basically seem to be making continued efforts to also become more sustainable too which i think is really important um and yeah i will leave that article for you guys to have a read but they must get brownie points for that i've just noticed though here that there's some of the um some rubbers just coming away from the focus there we go some rubbers just coming away here i suppose that's nothing too serious um and it's probably just where i've been scuffing my toes a little bit uh, but yeah, like I was saying, aesthetically, I definitely prefer them to the vans. And the canvas on these is kind of like quite a nice, thick, 
slightly rougher canvas to these ones so while there is a 30 pound price difference they do feel more expensive and um, the canvas on the converse is a really smooth fine canvas again more similar to the vans i would say actually whereas this has a slightly thicker feel to it so i would say even though there's a 30 pound price difference it seems fully warranted with them um in terms of how the finish on them feels like it's got this tab on the i don't know why i'm comparing them so closely to this but here we are there's got this tab on the back like there's just some nice extra detailing to them which um the more the other ones don't have but they were the most i dropped these they dropped these in the intro didn't i let's go get the other one um they weren't the most comfortable to wear that's for sure i've had a pair of vega ones before um now sizing wise without socks they were about perfect but i think that they would be more comfortable if you went half a size up uh, if half sizes are available if which i will check and write on the screen now if they're not available and go for your normal size because i think they're going to have a relative amount of giving them um with them being a canvas but they are a small fitting shoe i would say um what else should i say about these yeah they they were just without socks were a touch uncomfortable um so that's why i think they need to go into this place but i prefer how they look to the bands which were kind of similar now um these i wore i talked about them when i had worn them without socks and the only place they were hurting were where the converse had been rubbing so they were really 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 comfortable these ones um, i actually ended a really long walk in them yesterday also without socks because i thought i got myself mixed up about what i'd done so i've worn these twice without socks and i did a really long walk like a nearly two hour walk yesterday in them and they were really really comfortable and then i nipped out this morning in them with socks and it was just the same basically uh, these i think fit really true to size they're probably the most true to size out of all the pairs that we have here these and the novesta i'm interested to see if they are almost identical in length yes yes they're identical in length yeah these two are the most true to size i would say for me anyway um just aesthetically they, they ju they're just not my favorite like i often say in these videos i now have three white canvas trainers specifically to choose from and i will not be reaching for these the most aesthetically um and because the major ones aren't the most comfortable but they're not agony and the novesta ones are comfortable um because of those factors it isn't like um these a leaps and bounds ahead of them in terms of comfort so the aesthetic aspect is enough to sway me with what i would wear i've never had this specific type of vans before but the vans old school that i've had have lasted really 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 well and i do generally prefer the old school style more than this one in terms of the aesthetics um but yeah it, it was really comfortable and if you like them i do recommend them and definitely go for your normal size in second to last place i am going to put the where have they gone oh they're here the no vesta ones um i really 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 love these trainers um the day that i wore them with socks they were so comfortable they don't rub at all like i said i have a black pair at home which i have worn been wearing for the past six months and i've had no issues with them just yet fly on the camera there we go um and yeah they've been they've been absolutely great the inside of them the finish doesn't feel as great as the other ones like the whole sole kind of lifts out like this it's not meant to be stuck down so it's not like it's broken but it doesn't they just don't feel quite as nice as in quite as expensive but that being said i think that they look great and those aspects aren't making them uncomfortable or anything like that um and they by no means feel like they're going to fall apart there is just certain details like that which i did that i think were worth mentioning um the canvas is really nice and thick and textured similar to the superga ones and the beige ones um, like I said, the, the canvas and the converse and the vans is really likeable too, um, to one another. It's got the silver eyelets and just, I really love the shape of the shoe. I really love the way this gum detailing comes over the top and it's got this texture on it and they were really comfortable. The day that I wore them without socks was right after the, uh, the wore the Vega ones, which also further highlighted the points that they've made my feet a little bit sore. So they were when I wore them without socks a bit, oof, but it was all in the areas that the Vega had already rubbed. So I think it was a, a fall of Vega, not of these ones. Um, sizing wise, I think they fit really true to size as well, which is really, really good. Um, and yeah, I just feel like out of all of the white ones that I've got here, these will be the ones that I go on to wear the most. They're a kind of wider shoe, which I personally quite like, especially with bare legs in the summer. I think it looks really nice. Um, and they don't make your feet look too big, too clumpy or anything like that. 
aesthetically I prefer them a lot more to the Vans and um, I prefer them I like them similarly to the Vega ones but they were definitely just more comfortable than Vega which leaves in first place with Superga, which I'm totally not surprised at considering my recent love for them uh, well ongoing love for them but it's just been amplified recently the big downside of these is definitely the complications with the sizing to the point where I'm not even sure what to recommend these are a six and a half I should have got a seven go for your normal UK size or wherever you're from go for your normal size but pay attention to the size conversion charts on whatever website you're ordering them from a UK a European 40 would normally be a UK seven in this instance it's a six and a half had I had a UK 7, they would have been perfect, which I'm assuming would be a European 41, 40 and a half. I see, I don't even know. So pay attention to the size conversion charts and get to your normal size, but don't necessarily listen to the European sizes. So I don't feel like I need to repurchase them in half a size up. I definitely wouldn't be able to walk in this size for like a city break kind of a day. You know a day where you walk over 20,000 steps? My feet would feel really smushed up and uncomfortable at the end of the day, which is also how they would feel in the Vega ones, I think. So um, yeah, this is still completely wearable size-wise for me, but throughout the day would become more uncomfortable. Um, I'm still putting them in the first place because I think they look incredible. The canvas on them is really nice. They feel like really just a good weight to them. The quality feels quite similar to the Vega in terms of, again, the canvassing on it, but they feel slightly more just robust and, and I mean, you can even, this, I know I was just doing that, but it's all lifted out. They just feel more robust than the Novesta ones, definitely. Like the Novesta ones, as I said, I just really love, but there does seem to be a quality, a difference in the quality just from holding them and touching them. I would say the same for the Vans as well. The Superga feel nicer than the Vans. Um, Quality-wise, I think Converse are great, like I said, but they've done they've done what they've done to my heel. Um, whereas these haven't caused any rubs or blisters. And the old pair that I have, which I'm talking about at the very beginning of this video, which I have in my correct size, are unbelievably comfortable and I wear them all the time without socks. The day that I filmed these, I was wearing them without socks. With socks, obviously just made them quite a bit tighter and, and made me notice the problem with the sizing even more. But because I have had a pair in the correct size, I know that all of those issues are completely resolved if I just had a size seven. Um, and essentially, I love these enough that if I was feeling like I didn't already have five pairs of canvas trainers, I would repurchase them in the correct size to make sure that I could wear them as much as possible because I think they're really versatile, just really stylish and they look really great and the quality is great and yeah, they're just a really, really good trainer basically and I can't recommend them enough but just pay attention to the sizing thing. So that was all five pairs of trainers. I hope that was helpful in some way. I feel like this may be one that you guys have had really different experiences with. So please leave any different experiences in the comments because it's so helpful for people as well. For instance, do you have Converse and have you always found them uncomfortable like me? Or do you find them to be really comfortable? Do you hate Superga? Whatever your experiences are, if you have any different sizing tips, anything please do leave them in the comments for other people to see too this has obviously just been my opinion of them all um and going forward i would say you're gonna see me rewear all of these but probably the vans the least and maybe the converse the least because like i said i prefer my high top ones so i think i'll continue to wear those um more than the low top ones um but yeah, I really hope this has been helpful. I think the next category we're going to do in testing basics is linen trousers, which I personally think are going to be a nice essential for spring and summer for me anyway. So let me know if that is one you would like to see. As always, any other different ones that you'd prefer to see or would like to see as well. Thank you so, so much for watching. Links for everything in the description box. And I will see you in the next one.